Radio right here with KSI and the man who is responsible for this guy standing on the earth right now. <laughs> his own father oh, here. God. <laughs> yeah. Hey, God, you proud? <laughs> Very proud. Oh, yeah, You've proud. got two sons that are warriors. It's not just KSI. Deji is bouncing around here too. Fought one of the best, if not the best fighter in the world. How did you produce two incredible warriors oh, like God, this? Don't, don't. <laughs> Come on. What you mean? What you mean? How? How? <laughs> Everybody wants nah, two nah. sons that fight this one. My, my parents have ingrained hard work into my lifestyle. And I've just put that throughout my whole life. And now you're seeing the rewards. I'm reaping the rewards. I work hard. You know, I, I didn't have talent. I always say I'm not talented. I just work. I, I always say... No matter what you want to do in life, if you work, put your head down and just grind and grind and grind, you can do anything. And that's what I'm showing with my whole life. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Agreed. <laughs> Did you ever imagine that both of your sons would end up in the boxing ring and have an entire arena shouting their name? No. <laughs> what did you think uh, KSI would do when he, when he grew up? Uh, Lawyer. <laughs> Doctor. Uh, engineer. <laughs> Uh, uh, you want to do YouTube? Uh, YouTube? YouTube ain't gonna pay their bees, huh? <laughs> now doctors, engineers, lawyers are coming to watch him fight and paying for the privilege. Yeah. Now, the question is, you haven't had a chance to fight many rounds because you keep knocking these guys out early. Are these fights too easy? No, no, no. I mean, I just make it look easy. I make it look easy, even with my song, Easy. It's just, it's ingrained with me. It's just because I work so hard, people just struggle to deal with it. I mean, you saw what Swarms did to Ryan Taylor. You saw what Pineda did to B. Dave. There's levels to it. Like, the guys that I easily beat, I fought those two people in one night. I beat both of them. And then Temper. Temper was a problem for Kenny, problem for Slim for a bit. And me, I just make it look easy. What was your favorite fight on the card tonight? You know what? I'm very impressed with Salt Pappy. Salt Pappy, top five. 100%. I mean, for me, I was there like, if jo Josh Brunner, he's a tough opponent. If he was able to, like, the way he easily, like, cleanly took him out and Josh just couldn't get up, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Talk to people who are just coming to boxing because of you about, uh, look, obviously, you're well put together, but it, that is not what wins fights. We saw Poppy, we saw Deji last time out beat guys who are shredded and huge. Yeah, I mean, look. I always tell my audience, you can do whatever you want to do. Literally just put your mind to it. I am the sole example. I started in my bedroom. I had no fighting experience. I didn't know how to do a run. I didn't know how to do anything. I was, when it came to boxing, I knew nothing. You can literally see one of the first times I got in the ring and I'm just put my knee up and everything. I didn't know what was going on. And I just worked and worked and worked. And now I'm reaping the rewards. Simple as that. You're working towards what would be the biggest boxing match in crossover boxing in nice. December. I saw Deji here give you a hug. You said you loved him. What is it like for your whole family to be here in this I mean, moment I mean, at the beginning of this journey? Well, I mean, you know, me and my family, we've, we've gone through a lot of highs and lows. But, you know, now we all love each other. We, you know, we're, we just fully respect and, you know, everything that we've gone through, it's just made us better people. And, yeah, it's just... It's just amazing where we're at now. So. Now, I heard the American anthem song. <laughs> I heard the British anthem song. And I heard them sing, fuck Jake Paul, no, the entire arena. Absolute music to my ears. I was like, louder, louder. That's it, man. Fuck Jake Paul, man. This is not just a clash of crossovers, but it might be a clash of continents. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what? I think even Americans want me to fuck Jake Paul. <laughs> <laughs> You said before that Logan Paul was your greatest challenge. What, what, where does the bad blood even come from between you and Jake Paul? You've never oh, been in the ring before. It's so deep ruined. It's so deep ruined. It's not, like, I don't like him. He doesn't like me. And there's a lot of bad blood. We've, you know, there's a lot of back and forth. Ultimately, Ego is also another one of them. We don't like each other. Fuck him. And I'm sure he's going to say, fuck me. Who cares? I'm going to knock him out. Flatline him. GG. Are we going to see maybe at least two more fights before December being as easy as this one was, or at least as short as it was? No, I, I mean, I said I want another fight and then Jake Paul, so that's the plan. You know, I'm going to enjoy tonight uh, and then go on a 10K run tomorrow. Am I allowed? 
Yeah. <laughs> just one more yeah. before Jake Paul? Yeah, yeah, that's what all I need. I feel great. Do you feel like you need rounds? Do you, do you need a little bit more? All the rounds time? I'm getting is in sparring. Do you know how many rounds I have in sparring? I, with this last camp, 111 rounds of just southpaw sparring. What level of opponent are we looking for in May? Who's, no, who's I, bro, I just can't see raising the levels. That's it. Simply raising the levels. Could it possibly be another real boxer? No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, everyone here is a real boxer. See what Dylan done is. A traditional yeah. career boxer. Well, I mean, look. Give me names and we'll pick what makes sense. And lastly, tell me, raising this man, raising Deji, for, for fathers all over the world that want to raise honorable, respectable, achieving sons, what's your best advice? Respect. Respect. Respect to you, sir. It's a pleasure to meet you. Respect to you, sir. An incredible night of boxing. Incredible career. Enjoy your views. <laughs> Yo, I, 35 million views the first time we did this in Manchester. Oh, and we've been on it ever since. I've been here from the beginning and I'll be here to the end. Radio Raheem with KSI, The Nightmare. Okay.